Alice Rare Moore on YouTube. I was wondering if you could talk about spunding valves and spunding. I feel like this is uh, this is a setup. You see, my, my man, uh, my man, uh, Alice Rare wants me to talk uh, spunding valve and spunding, spunding and spunding valves. Uh, the the real the, the real idea behind the the spunding valve is uh, so. When, when I'm working with uh, one of my tanks at the brewery shaped like this, you know, from, and then off the top, there's a pipe that comes off and runs down the side. Um, that's like the CIP arm or the blow off arm. That's where the CO2 uh, will come, will be expressed out of the fermenter. Man, my nose is itching. That's where the CO2 will be expressing out of the beer. Sometimes Croizen, sometimes beer. I have a beer that's blowing up all over the place right now. I probably put a barrel of beer on the floor. I'm, I was trying to uh, push the volume that I was getting uh, at the end of the day uh, out of a batch, and and I may have uh, hit a point of diminishing returns because some of that word I made uh, just kind of ended up all over the floor. But we'll see. Once we get it through bright tank. So yeah, each tank has this CIP arm, this blow off arm. And the idea with the, with, uh, with the spunding valve is that it can be attached and then it will actually maintain a pressure inside the fermenter. So let's say for argument's sake, you can set it for 10 PSI. It will build 10 PSI in the tank. When it gets to 11, that's when it'll start off gassing. Yeah, and uh, you know, there, there's a, a lot of people. There's a lot of people that swear by it. There's um, there's some advantages to it. Where fermentating, uh, fermentating, fermentating under pressure, it can uh, it can actually help to uh, reduce uh, ester production. So if you're if you're looking for uh, on on the lager side potentially re really restraining your esters that might be something to chase there. It's also something that can help capture more CO two in, in in the beer naturally. Um, so you don't have to be putting as much gas into your beer afterwards. So um, those are those are a, a, a couple of a, a couple of pluses. So uh, that that uh, spunding valve is really it's like a um, it's like a fancy pressure release valve. Now um, one thing one thing that I would uh, one thing that I, I would want to uh, caution you about. I, I do know that they're selling those things uh, on homebrew scale stuff. Obviously on the pro side they can be used as well. Historically, these things are used on lagers, and lagers are typically not blowing out of your fermenters. So, if if you are doing um, some, if you're using yeast strains that are going to be shooting out of your fermenter, if you're going to be using some some of those really aggressive yeast strains that want to stay up in the croissant and be blasting off all over the place, maybe uh, spunding is not the right thing to be doing there. In my mind, I don't want to be slamming croissant yeast slurry. Uh, through those fine little parts in your in your spunding valve and maybe creating a, a bad connection or sticking it and then you're just building and building pressure inside your fermenter no level of clean fermentation is worth uh that uh yeah i would i would be cautious if, if you're if you're looking at, at at doing that on uh on on a beer like that so it's something something to look into um i'm interested in it um, I'm not in a space right now where where I can mess with it too much, um, but that that day will that day will come, and I'll be able to. I, I want to. I would love it, just to even know like what exactly it does. You know what I mean? Like one of the one of the things right now is I, I'm running I'm running some different lager strains, different pitching rates, um, and, and stuff like that. And and it's just fascinating to get to the finished beer and and see and see what you're getting, you know, um, because when you have when you use the same standard practice all the time, yeah, you you get used to that. And so it's interesting to to venture outside of that and see see what what it brings because it's a big opportunity to learn. So yeah, that's the deal with uh, spoonding.